Hi, welcome to this video lesson on solving quadratic equation. In this lesson, you'll learn how to solve a quadratic equation. Quadratic equations are usually written in the form of a x squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, where a, b, and c are constants, and the value of a is not zero. Note that the highest power of x in the equation is 2. Here are some examples of quadratic equations. Note that the highest power of x is 2 in every case. In the last example, although we cannot see the x squared, after we expand the left hand side, we will get 2x squared, hence, it is also a quadratic equation. The graph of a quadratic equation is generally a U-shaped curve or an inverted U-shaped curve. The value of A determines the shape of the curve. Here are some examples of a quadratic equation when the value of A is greater than zero. When the value of A is negative, the graphs of the quadratic equation look like an inverted U-shaped curve. Let us take a look at this question. Half m squared plus 1 over 12 m minus 1 equals to 0. In this question, we can get rid of the fractions by multiplying 12 to the whole equation. Hence, we get 6 m squared plus m minus 12 equals to 0. This is a simpler quadratic equation to work with. After factorizing, we get two factors, 2m plus 3 multiplied with 3m minus 4 equals to 0. Hence, we get the answers m equals to negative 3 over 2 or m equals to 4 over 3. Let's take a look at another question. 2r minus 3 divided by r plus 4 equals to negative r over 5. Since there are fractions, on both sides, we can get rid of the fractions by doing cross multiplication. One thing to note here is that the negative sign on the right hand side can follow the R or the 5. In this case, we will let the negative sign follow the R. Doing cross multiplication, we get negative R times R plus 4 equals to 5 times 2R minus 3. After doing cross multiplication and rearranging, we get r squared plus 14r minus 15 equals to 0. Factorize it, we get r minus 1 times r plus 15 equals to 0. Hence, we get r equals to 1 or r equals to negative 15. We are coming to the end of the lesson. In this video lesson, you have learnt how to solve quadratic equations. If there is fraction on either side of the equation or both sides, do a cross multiplication. Simplify the equations into the form of a x squared plus bx plus e equals to zero. Find the factors and equate them to zero and solve for the unknown.